This pop-up on ASRV's website is pretty slick. If you close the pop-up, it minimizes to a bar in the lower left corner rather than closing out altogether. As a shopper, I really like this because it gives me another shot to complete the opt-in if I mistakenly close it or change my mind. And as a business owner, I love it because it makes my opt-in always available. Let's see how easily we can recreate this on one of my websites. All right, so my pop-up tool of choice is unsurprisingly Badao. The first thing we'll wanna do once we're in Badao is to create a discount using the WooCommerce integration since this is a discount campaign. Even if you don't integrate with Shopify or WooCommerce, I'll show you another way to create this campaign using Badao. All right, so once the discount campaign is created, we'll need to create a new form. We'll select collect emails as our goal and pop up as our form type. I'm gonna start with the Marbella template and this part is key. I'm gonna scroll down after I selected my template and also select include a tab. Who decided to hide that feature there? The default option is this triangle. We don't want that, but by clicking on it, it will give us other options. We're gonna select this rectangle and on desktop, we want it to minimize to the bottom left corner. The tab should display when we close the form. That gets us closer to what we see on the ASRV website. All right, now the design phase, I'm gonna speed this part up. Okay, we're back. Let's review some of the settings I've selected for this pop-up. In design, you'll notice that we added an email field and a first name field. And in success, we've assigned the discount campaign we created at the beginning of the video. If you don't use Shopify or WooCommerce, you could still offer a discount, but instead of it being unique, you would just paste a generic one here. We're almost done. Let's set our visibility settings. We turned off smart mode and we'll manually set our rules. I've made this a time pop-up so it appears after someone has been on the page for five seconds. And I only wanna show this pop-up to new users, so I selected first page view. We don't want it to show on certain pages, so we've selected for it to not show on those pages. And we have some of these saved as a set, so we don't have to manually write these out every time. We don't wanna show this pop-up to users who have already subscribed since we're targeting new visitors to our site. For this pop-up, there's not much we're doing upon success, but we will be integrating with ConvertKit. And here's the finished product. Here's what it looks like on our website. You can create your very own pop-up with a tab feature at bedow.com. And if you wanna take this kind of discount campaign to the next level, check out our video where we show you how to send those discount codes to your email service provider so that you can encourage your subscribers to make a purchase via email. Head on over to bedow.com to start your free account. Bedow.